Hello world, Steven Michael Zach here, and I'm with Dan over at the Black Magic booth. And today we are talking about the brand new Pixis camera. So Given the lowdown, this is something that we have been waiting for a very long time. I'm very excited that it's here. Yeah, this is exciting for us because it is obviously our first box camera. You know, people do know us obviously for our pocket cameras mm -hmm. and our Ursa cameras. But we've never really had that box camera form factor, and this is really our first, you know, first box camera there. Um, you know, pocket cameras are great. You know, they're always been driven at a how do we put the most value in these great form factors that we can carry around. And you can always dress up a pocket camera, right? You can always put some extra rigging on it, but it is limited by some of the form factors that it does have there. So this is something that's going to be far more customizable for folks. Obviously, people have been clamoring for this box camera. Mm -hmm. It's actually pretty funny because last year when we came out with our Cinema Camera 6K, that's basically the guts of this camera. It's our full frame camera doing 6K. And of course, everyone was like, this is a great camera. But a number of people said, boy, it'd be a great box camera. And all, and, and all I could say, guilty. And all, and, all I could, and all I could say to people was, but this was the fastest we could get this this technology to market because we obviously had all of that, but it'd be a great box camera. But this is the fastest that we can get this to market. But it'd be, but this is the fastest we can get to. <laughs> In other words, be quiet. It's coming. Hold your horses. It's always a tough one because it's like, <laughs> you know, obviously when you buy a phone, you're always worried. Well, I don't want to buy the phone and get the next phone. But you know the next phone's coming. You know the next graphics card's coming. Hey, you right, know, right. you know what? The Black Magic camera is always coming too. But it is exciting when we're able to get a camera out this, make a big technology jump, or in this case, a form factor jump. And that's why it's getting so much buzz at the show this year because people have been clamoring for this. They've been looking for this, and now we have it to show them and hopefully be shipping this in the next couple of weeks, maybe two months at the very tops. But for three thousand dollars to get all of this power and capability and flexibility is a really exciting thing. You know what you say, always leave them wanting more. There is all, there is all <laughs> that. And there's also the, like, everyone comes and says, like, I love that you did this, but why didn't you that? And mm -hmm. it's always hard to make everybody happy for all of those things. So a couple of the things that we've heard from people so far at the show is some people love the screen, some people don't want the screen. We decided to put the screen on there because we wanted to have something that was usable out of the box, right? Be able to put the lens on there and be able to use the screen to control it. Some people would rather not have the screen, but this is what we went with. We have other folks that say, why didn't you put ND filters on there? Well, that would have added more cost and it would have made the camera bigger, which maybe would have been more difficult for other people to use for other reasons. So it's kind of one of those, you, you can't make a right or wrong decision, but you have to make a design choice and kind of go with it. So right. that's some of the things we've heard. Right, you, you can't have everything. So you got to pick the key features that you need. That, that's right. So I think one of the other key things that people are seeing about this camera is it's one of the first cameras that we've not one of the first, but it is a camera that has a fixed lens mount as opposed to our Ursa cameras, which now have an interchangeable lens mount. So you do have to pick which lens mount you're going to be getting when you buy this camera. And that's just something people have to decide whether they're going to just use one lens mount or they're going to use adapters. They have to figure that out on their own. But generally speaking, the feedback's been great. Really happy to be getting this out there, showing people, and it's been really exciting at the show. Very cool, very cool. Um, is there anything, uh, any kind of new features that we should look out for? Anything that sticks out in your mind? Something that you enjoy using that you're really happy that's now on this camera? I mean, again, it comes back to that flexibility of having the box camera because sure. te from a techni technology, late in the day, technology, technological, technological, technological <laughs> standpoint, it is basically that full frame Cinema sure. 6K camera. Sure. But being able to do things like have the ability to add, you know, a different bracket on so that we can have Velcro or adding, we have our own cheese plate. But I'm sure other people are going to make. But this is something that we just haven't had on these type without adding way more additional rigging. So we're excited to see what people are going to do with it. We're excited to see what third-party manufacturers are going to do with it. And that's what makes this really exciting because we've created this thing that we know people are going to take and do things that maybe we haven't expected with it. So we're really looking forward I to that. I see a lot of 3D printer people out there making specialized pieces for there, this. There, there very well could be. And that's what's always exciting is that we get to make something that people think it would take to the next level. So sure, sure, that'll be fun sure, to see. Sure. Very cool. And um, what is the, I know you said the availability Availability is soon. Uh, what is the pricing on this? So this is a $3,000 camera coming in at $29.95. There might be duties and taxes in different sure. countries, but for $3,000, it's great to be able to get this kind of form factor and this kind of technology. So very exciting. Very cool. And I noticed you do have an EVF. Yes, yeah, so we actually do have a new EVF. This is our new Ursa Cine EVF, although it does obviously just plug in. What's really cool about it is it's just using USB-C here. So it's a really simple cable to plug in there. Made a couple different, uh, 
up, upgrades to what we were doing with our, our, our EVF, our current EVF, I should say. So uh, this is going to be coming out also in the next couple of weeks, we hope. So uh, just more, like, we added so many things this year as far as SKUs. <laughs> mm -hmm. A lot of them are these little accessories like cheese plates and EVFs and bars. Right, so right. Um, unfortunately, when you go to our website, you'll see, like, dozens and dozens of new parts, <laughs> obviously centering around these big launches. Very cool, very cool. Very much. Uh, very, thank you very much. This late in the day, I yeah, appreciate it. <laughs> I'm Stephen Michael Zach, and this is new to me.